Hello and welcome to How to Make an Electric Guitar Part 8, How to Make a Humbucker Pickup. The first step in making a humbucker pickup is to gather all the parts that you'll need. You can either use an existing pickup or purchase the parts individually. You'll need a non-magnetic base plate made of either brass or nickel silver. At the heart of a guitar pickup is the magnet. The two most common types of magnets are the alnico and the ceramic. Alnico, which is made of aluminum and nickel, is great for all different styles of music. The ceramic, on the other hand, is best suited for high-powered output. This odd-looking part is a screw keeper, and I'll show you what that is in just a minute. You'll also need a shim made of either plastic or hard maple. Each humbucker pickup has two bobbins, one that holds adjustable screws and another that holds the slugs. A single humbucker will have six adjustable screws and six slugs. You'll need four bobbin screws to attach the bobbins to the base plate, but get extra because they're tiny and can get lost easily. To wire the pickups, you'll need four short lead wires and at least two feet of four core shielded wire. I like to follow the Seymour Duncan wiring codes so that I don't get things mixed up. If the magnet is the heart of an electric guitar pickup, then the coil wire is certainly its soul. Look for 42 or 43 gauge wire with either heavy form var, enamel, or poly nylon insulation. The tools you'll want to have are scissors, a soldering iron, solder, Phillips head screwdriver, a hobby knife, bobbin tape, and coil tape. It's also a good idea to pick up a cheap multi-tester so you can make sure that the bobbins you wind are actually going to work. To wind my pickups, I use a simple variable speed drill with a reed switch slash magnet slash pedometer counter to count the number of turns. The bobbin is attached with double stick tape to a piece of wood which has a screw in the middle of it that's chucked into the front of the drill. It takes me about 30 minutes to wind 6,000 turns of coil wire on a bobbin. After I finish winding the bobbin, I attach different colored leads to the start and finish of the coil wire using Seymour Duncan codes as a guide. Before I go any further, I like to test the DC resistance on each bobbin with a multi-tester. If the readout is blank, the bobbin is a dead bobbin. If the bobbin checks out okay, I like to wrap up the coil wire and the lead so that they're nice and tight to the bobbin, and then wrap it all up with some bobbin tape. Next, I take my shielded four core wire and attach the bare ground to the back of the base plate with solder. Then I install the screws and slugs into the appropriate bobbins. This is where that funny part I mentioned earlier on in the video goes. It's called a screw keeper. In order for a humbucker to work properly, we have to check and mark the direction of the magnet's polarity. I use a compass to do this. Center the magnet on the base plate so that the adjustable screws will rest against the south side of the magnet. The plastic or wood shim will slide in underneath the bobbin and rest up against the side of the base plate. Attach the bobbin using the bobbin screws. After the bobbins are attached, you can solder the lead wire to the same colored pickup wire. Wrap the solder joints in either electrical tape or heat shrink tubing and tuck them between the two bobbins. Wrap both bobbins with a single long strip of cloth bobbin tape. To reduce microphonic feedback, submerge both pickups in a mixture of 80% paraffin, 20% beeswax. Let it soak for about 20 minutes and make sure the temperature of the melted wax never exceeds 150 degrees. After the 20 minute wax bath, remove the pickups and wipe off any residual wax. Also, reaffix any tape which may have come loose. Now you're ready to install your very own custom made humbucking pickup into your guitar. And if you don't like the way it sounds, you can always rewind it with a different gauge wire or switch to a different type of magnet. For more information on building electric guitars, visit eGuitarPlans.com.